Afternoon, peeps. Um, I was just reading uh, a moment ago about Martin Hoffman at these Senate hearings yesterday and, um, you know, defending the question about people's need um, to have support while they have sex. It's one of the questions. Um, and I've just got to say, at what point is that ever appropriate as a question? Like, you know, how do you get off? Or do you need help with that? Or, you know, whatever. And I've got to point out too that um, Martin Hoffman has, has, you know, a dubious history when it, <laughs> hi Jessica, has a dubious history when it comes to, um, you know, the subject of um, sexual expression, etc. He was once the CEO or co-owner of adultshop.com. So, you know, I'd be questioning Martin Hoffman's, um, you know, it's not appropriate under any circumstance. No, it's not. I mean, how many people would walk up to you in, in any given day and say, you know, you walk into the bank and go, oh, hi, could I, um, you know, cash this check? Sure, but did you masturbate this morning? It's just wildly inappropriate, you know? Um, and, and, I mean, I put it up there in the same context as, as, you know, people asking me about my genitalia, given that I'm a transgender guy. Unless you're inside my pants, it's absolutely not relevant to you. And you'd only be there by invitation. So, you know, I think we probably would have had that discussion by now. I just can't believe the amount of shit that these guys are just going around in circles with at these Senate hearings. And they are just wasting time. They're wasting time, wasting money, and wasting everyone's efforts. And over stuff like, yeah, you know... Um, he kind of turned around and said, "Oh, it's only one part of the questionnaire, and it's been there since the beginning." Um, I don't, I don't recall when I applied for the NDIS or applied for access that they asked me about what I do in the bedroom at all. Right? You know, and and the answer for me would be, I'm, you know, not dysfunctional in that area, but I, I, I've, you know, and I pointed this out to my partner the other day. I don't believe I've truly, genuinely gone on a date. I don't date. I, you know, fall into stuff really quickly, but I don't date. So, you know, the context around half of these questions, and this is the problem, none of it is contextual. None of it actually takes into account certain parts and elements of it that, that may be impacted and may not be. And Byron, you're 100% correct. It's not, in, it's not trauma-informed. There are lots of us out there that have had past experiences with, with sexuality, sexual expression, sexual abuse, whatever the case might be, and it is absolutely not up to some weird-ass independent assessor, assessor walking in on a one-hour stint asking these questions. It's totally inappropriate. You know, unless that's something that you want to seek assistance with and then you want to offer that information up or whatever the case is. Look, it's not appropriate for this absolute stranger to have that discussion with you. You know? So Jade was saying here, I was reading about this earlier and it made me absolutely sick. Why do we have to explain something because we were born with a disability? A hundred percent. You know, I don't think anyone has to explain... Um, has to explain what they do in a bedroom. I don't think anyone has to explain their sexuality or their gender to another person. I don't think that that's something that anyone should have to talk about in terms of getting funding support for a disability. How's it relevant? Doesn't matter if I love, you know, a guy, a girl, uh, you know, a transgender person, you know, it doesn't matter if I do stuff, I don't do stuff, I do feel sexual, I don't feel... None of that is actually relevant to... Um, actually, I need support with organizing my day and, and, you know, I need support around my home or I need support with my personal care. It's not relevant. I need, you know, extra psychology. So not relevant. And Martin Hoffman has, you know, the audacity to sit there and, and he's just going down the Stuart Robert line of, you know, like, oh, where everyone's hiring a hooker or a prostitute or something. Like, it's just unreal that they, they continue to do this every time I read a headline, you know, and he went on today to say um, that he believes that, you know, the independent assessments are a viable thing that they, that we just need to do them right. They need to be done right. Unfortunately though, done right means, you know, 
it's not about creating funding off of that. It's not about whatever. It's, it's you know, OT Australia has turned around and said they're not done right. The Psychology Board of Australia has turned around and said they're not done right. There have been multitudes of experts now in these Senate hearings that have turned around and said these IA are not done right. And in the context of what you're looking for them to do, they will not be right. Yeah, I know, Jade, uh, like a lot of people have anxiety around this stuff, you know, and it would cause people to have a shutdown and a meltdown and all of that kind of stuff. And then, and then, you know, would that even be taken into consideration? Would that be, you know, noted that a person had a panic attack around that topic? You know, it's, it just, it just goes on and on and on, you know, and, and I, I did, like I made this a illusion the other day to you know getting marched off to the gas chamber for your differences for having a disability and it just feels like it is becoming more and more invasive like it's not enough to just have the disability it's not enough to be recognized or diagnosed or you know have have the the information before them to say yes i have this di you know this disability now it's kind of you know prove the functional prove this answer to that you know, list this. It's like, Jesus, Martin, I also take two shits a day. Do you need to know that? I prefer sorbent over Kleenex. Do you need to know that? Anyway, I just, you know, I am. I'm getting worn down by it because every day is like a um, a fight. Like it's a fight to even be in, you know, your own body, let alone dealing with all the shit in this industry at the moment and, and what's going on with, you know, other participants, people that you're working with, you know, um, providers trying to just navigate this sea of shit that the Morrison government has created. Stuart Robert has, you know, perpetuated, Linda Reynolds is perpetuating it. And now Martin Hoffman is, is towing the line and giving us the same sales pitch. And it is just fucking ludicrous, right? Just stop. We're not falling for it. And I fucking, honestly, one in five people in Australia have a disability. One in five. And out of those one in five, we've got family members and all the rest of it. So please talk to your families about the next election. Talk to them about making sure that these Muppets get voted out. Because it is honestly the only chance we have of salvaging the NDIS.